All right, guys. What's up? Casual K Kyle here, and today we've got the VCT Pro from Smock to talk about. That intro, intro, intro music. I can hear it. It's so good. That new intro, so good. That new intro, so good. That new intro, so good. So that intro, so good. Yeah, that intro, so good. Is that intro good? Yeah, it's good intro, man. It's only like seven seconds, but it's good. Alright guys, we're talking about this VCT Pro today. I've got mine with the red O-rings on it. also comes in black O-rings. This thing is another sub-ohm tank. Wah, wah. We have way too many of these out, but hey, this one is actually pretty good. Now, if you'll remember, Smock made Cardo tanks and they kind of went out of style and made like some shitty stuff and people were over Smock for a while. Now Smock is reinventing themselves and they have made the Smock M65, the Smock M80. The Smock M80 is kind of wonky, but uh, their sub ohm tanks, the Smock VCT and the Smock VCT Pro, I think they actually have something going with that. Smock VCT I've had for a while and it, you know, it's good, but it's just, it's just as good as the other ones, but it's cheaper. The coils are like a buck cheaper, and the device is 30, 35 bucks, I think, somewhere on there. So it's it's whatever. It's kind of going for like the cheaper side if you want to just spend a little less money for like pretty much the same that you're getting right now. That's how that is. But the Pro actually is pretty impressive. There's actually some very cool stuff with the Pro, but there are some bad stuff with it. So let's let's. I have some I have some stuff to talk about this, but before I do, let's go check this guy up close. See all the cool knickknacks on it. And then, and then we'll go into opinions. So let's do that, right? All right, guys. So here we are with the Smock VCT Pro. As I said before, I have mine right here with the red O-rings on it. Also has black O-rings just in the box. You can swap them. And I have my own drip tip on top. It comes with a drip tip with like a adjustable airflow on top and it's kind of wonky so I just took that out that that is one con immediately on that thing I hate that drip tip so I took it out and I put a Loki Labs router tip on it and that's been awesome I love this tip this tips rad and uh, yeah so uh, let's get some specs of this guy this guy holds five mils of juice and the coils are pretty much similar to those arctic coils to a lot of other you know types of coils like that they look a lot like arctic coils but they're just a little bit different so you can't just pop arctic coils in here the airflow as you can see on the side they're really big and they're on both sides those huge airflow slots and you just turn this guy and they adjust just like a lot of other sub ohm tanks pretty simple stuff uh, you flip it upside down and you unscrew it this guy has a flush um, 510 connection on the center on the positive pin so no, no on the hybrid. Do not do that with the hybrid. Uh, it just says designed by Smock right there, and it gives you the little, like, whatever recycle crap. It says Smock on the side. The other side says VCT Pro, if you can get my lighting. My lighting is kind of weird up close. Uh, it has some heat sink fins up here just to look cool. Ob absolutely does nothing to it. But you just unscrew this guy like so. The metal comes from the glass, and it just unscrews. Super simple like every other sub tank you've seen this happens a lot this coil is now stuck like this yep it is that coil likes to get stuck right there and i have to get pliers and pop it out like that i'm not going to do that right now because i'm just going to pop it back in but this glass part right here is completely removable you just fill it up on the side right here god that coil <laughs> this is obviously a con on it it just does that and then on the bottom right here it's just got a center pin it's super simple how everything works on this it's just this is a coil that gets replaced but it likes to stick and the coil looks a lot like the, um, actually pretty much identical to the Arctic coil. So if you have an Arctic or you've seen the Arctic coils, it's pretty much those coils, but they change the threading so that you can only use it with this guy, you know. That's that's pretty much that. It has the black or the red O-rings that you could do for this guy. But the main, um, the, the main thing I love about this guy is when you fill it up, it goes all the way to the top. There's no like crazy. There's like a little, little tiny air bubble, but it goes pretty much to the top. I like how that was designed on this, and uh, it's really easy to fill. Coil gets stuck though, but um, it's really easy to adjust your airflow. Not super easy to where it slides everywhere and you can't even get it set right, but it does easily adjust wherever you would like it. Um, it fits down on all my mods pretty good, except for like hybrid stuff, obviously. But yeah, this thing is pretty slick. It holds five mils and it works 
really similarly to an Arctic. So it holds five mils like an Arctic. The coils are a buck cheaper than an Arctic. And yeah, I think it looks cool too. It looks pretty sick. I'm gonna put it on my M-Class right now. Did a review for this guy. I love this M-Class still. Choose through batteries like you would not believe, but I do like that. So the coil options for this guy, they do not have a rebuildable deck. Uh, yeah, rebuildable deck on this. Uh, they do have 0.2 ohm coils, 0.6 ohm coils, and now they have nickel coils because this is the same tank as the uh, Smock TCT and the Smock VCT Pro. They're the same tank except one takes nickel coils, but you can just buy those nickel coils and put them in your VCT Pro. So I would not recommend going and get a TCT. It's just kind of a lame thing where they put green O-rings on here instead of black or red and it's a whole new tank apparently. But yeah, as this thing goes, I've tried the 0.6, not a fan of those. I love the 0.2 on this, and I really do love the nickel on there. Right now I'm just running the 0.2 because I ran out of the nickel ones, but I actually have been liking the nickel ones the most. They work freaking great, and they last longer too. They last longer than these coils do. So that pretty much wraps up the up close. It's really, really simple on how this thing works, but you know, it's got some pros, it's got some cons. Let's go, uh, you know, talk about those up close. Yes? Yes. So that was the Smock VCT Pro all up close. Now, I, this has been the sub-ohm tank that I've really been using the most. I've just pretty much been using this guy. The coils are cheaper, and it holds 5 mils of tank, which usually lasts me almost all day. Um, and, you know, I've been lenient lately because I'm out of this juice and I need to get more, but... Yeah, I've I've really been liking how big the tank is. It's nice having a sub ohm tank that I can lazy vape with and really lazy vape with because I can put it on dual battery box mod and have a five mil tank and I just don't even worry about it all day. I just vape it and vape it, vape it, and I get to nighttime and I'm like, oh yeah, it's kinda empty, let's fill it up. It's not like a shit, oh got him out again, oh got him out again, like the uh Atlantis was and stuff stuff like those. Those two and a half and three mil tanks are just not worth it. It also, just like I said, has the 0.2, the 0.6, and then the uh, 0.15 nickel coils. Uh, those all work pretty good. The 0.6 works pretty good, but it it seems to burn out a lot quicker than these 0.2s. These 0.2s seem to be pretty solid. Uh, one con about it, it does have that, the same kind of deal as the Arctic does, where that, that break-in period, though, is just like, oh, it's got this shit taste in the beginning, and then that goes away, and it's amazing. But... It's been happening with more and more of these sub-ohm tanks, and I've been hating that more and more with these sub-ohm tanks. That every single one you get, you start with the coil, and it just tastes like fucking just like you're licking just shit and motor oil and who knows what, which I don't I don't like that, honestly, so I try, I try not to vape this that much, but... Once the coil's primed like I have it right now, man, this thing's good. It's like the Arctic. I love the Arctic once you prime those coils. Now, with the pro if the coil's brand new, I hate the Arctic. If the coil's been in there for a day, it's the best fucking sub ohm tank I've ever had in my life. This is exactly like that, except it holds two more mils for me. And I actually like the looks on it. It looks pretty sick. It looks classy, like the Smock VCT looks kind of cheesy on stuff. It looks like it was slapped together real quick, like I could have made it. This one actually looks like they spent some time on it and it looks really nice and I like how this drip tip looks on it this router tip from local lab hashtag not a sponsor man and if you're wondering the juice I'm running right now is uh, off the poet line it's Dulce Nero Te from poet it's a sweet black tea with like hints of tobacco hint of lemon it's good it's good stuff I've been loving this stuff Oh man. Yeah, so this thing chucks some vapor. I'm running at 50 watts right now. It can definitely do 60, but with this flavor for some reason, 50 watts just seems to be my sweet spot for it. Sometimes 55. Other flavors, I've bumped it up to 70 with no problem. Like this thing doesn't really dry hit. And with me bumping this to 60, it's not that it dry hits. I just don't like that flavor that hot. It's really cool how I can actually adjust it. And it's not just good at 60. It's actually really good at 50. And it's really good, pretty good at 45. Once he hits 40, it's really kind of just shitty. Closing the airflow and going to 40 is just kind of eh. But. 
yeah, using it like how it is right now, this has definitely been my to-go kind of vape. It's not always the SX Mini, but a lot of times it is, and I've been running this guy everywhere I go. If you see me, it's probably me chilling with a VCT Pro because I am liking this tank. And I highly recommend this tank. It's, it's cheap, the coils are cheaper, it works like an Arctic, and you can laze vape, five mils, I don't see a problem here. I don't see a problem. The coil does stick. That, that seems to be an issue with this one. I have another one because I liked it so much that I wanted to have two different flavors in them. And that one works fine. This one that I decided to put the red O-rings on has just given me all the problems in the world with this kind of stuff. But whatever, what can you do? I mean, shit, what can you do? So I think it's kind of, that kind of shows that the uh, quality control is kind of eh on this guy. But the quality control on the coils has been good. Just, just the tanks has been a little like, a little weird. It does seem with these red O-rings that they're looser, so it likes to gather juice at the bottom of the tank. That's something. The black O-rings hold it a lot better. They're a lot tighter of O-rings. These are a lot looser of O-rings. Um, yeah, so I would honestly recommend keep the black O-rings that it comes stock with. Replace that drip tip. And uh, yeah, if your coil gets stuck, just a... Uh, you gotta have some pliers for it. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry you gotta have some pliers, but you just kinda do. And it's all press fitted together, so there's a possibility that this could start free spinning. It, I, this one did it, and all I had to do was uh, take this chimney and kinda just get it down with a hammer, which this is using a lot of tools just to keep vaping something. So there is like some middle of the road. This thing's okay, is how I would say it is. It's cheap, and it's okay. And I like it for lazy vaping. I've been keep I keep using it obviously, so I like it that much on the flavor. The flavor is good on this thing, but there's just some stuff that's just kind of cheap. You bought it for cheap, and you're getting a cheap. You know, it's just cheap all around. Once you get it going, once you get this thing going, it's good. But that's all I got to talk about. That's the pros and the cons of it. Um, yeah. I think it's good buy. I think it's good. I, I, I'm i glad that I got this guy. It's nice. It's nice. I've had to do some workarounds with it. Had to get some tools in this thing. The glass I haven't broke, but I have had a lot of people break it because the glass is flush with the outside. It doesn't have any metal covering. So if you drop this thing right there on that glass, it will break. But it does come with a replacement glass, so that's good. But if you break the glass twice, you're fucking boned. So that's that. That is the Smock VCT Pro. Let's keep vaping on, everybody. I'll see you guys next time.